Hey guys, what's up? Anthony back here with AR Creates, and I've got a quick tutorial video for you today. I'm um, sorry it doesn't look as professional or sound as professional as some of my other ones. All of my camera equipment um, is at my other office, and but we're going to make it work. So anyway, um, I had a couple of requests to show, I don't really know the correct term for it, but basically cutting out like stacking two text boxes on top of each other and then cutting um, one of them out. Uh, I'll, I'll put some examples on the screen to kind of show you. There probably is a term for this technique, but I do not know it. But if you go look on my social media, I've made some graphics recently with this effect and it's super easy to do in Illustrator. And so that's what we're gonna do today. So first we need our first word. So let's just do one. Just call it sample. You can name this whatever you want. Uh, it works really good if you have a really thick um, font, really, let's see, Helvetica Canal Display X is a good one. And then I'm just gonna create another text box. And we're gonna do this one sample as well, but lowercase. Now I always make it a different color so that I can see what I'm doing. And let's pick, let's pick a different type of font. Let's pick like a script sort of looking font for this. I think it will look really good. Or just, uh, doesn't necessarily have to be a script. Just something that looks, looks a little different. So we have some, um, some contrast here. I'm trying to find, I probably should have picked these out beforehand, but. And so what I'm going to do is now that it is different colors, um, we can see what parts would be cut out of this. And so um, what we're going to do is just kind of resize this to really fit sort of the look that we're going for. Uh, this will all be personal preference here. And then what I'm going to do, once you have everything set up with your text the way you'd like it, um, if you'll select everything and control shift O or... Um, you can go through the menu and expand it, however you want to do that, but the Command Shift O or Control Shift O will generate these as outlines now, so it's no longer an editable font. All right, so we're going to want to cut this out. So what we're going to do is select our top word here, which is this script font. We're going to go to Object, Path, and Offset Path, okay? And as you can see, it made it a little bit bigger already. Uh, but this is going to be adjusted in pixels. So if I go from 10 to 20, you can see the outline got a lot thicker. Um, and as you can see where these blue are, where the blue is, that's the original. Um, and this is the outline here. So this is what's going to be cut out. So you want to adjust this, again, personal preference until it cuts out um, as much as you want. I'm gonna go back down to about 15. I think we'll work on this and hit okay. All right, so now this is where we can zoom in so we can really see what we're doing. We wanna select everything again and hit Shift M to open up our um, Shape Builder tool or you can go over here to the menu on the left and find your Shape Builder tool there. Now, if you'll notice as I highlight over each of these sections, there's a plus sign on the screen. If I hold down alternate, I get a minus sign. So what I want to do is hold down alternate so that it's the arrow and the minus sign. And I just want to start deleting these extra outlines here. Okay, and if you notice, it will cut it out of the letters below it. Now we want to make sure that we're cutting out the same parts. If you highlight the wrong part, you just control Z and put it back. But we're gonna go through this, make sure we cut out all of these pieces. Let's go through here. Um, this, this could take a while or it could be pretty quick depending on how um, complex of a font you chose. But as you can see, this outline is really starting to take place here. And just make sure we get all of these. Then you want to get these 
other parts too here. See, we cut out a little bit of the wrong part here. You can see we lost some of the E, clicked on the wrong one. So let's put some more of this back. So you just kind of got to be careful here just to get the look that we want. All right, and let's take a look at it now. All right, so it looks pretty good. And so now you have this cut out. And the good thing about doing this versus using like a stroke is if we put, you know, it'll show up through any kind of background here. If we put it on a black background or a dark background, put that to the back. And we can change these. That cut out still stays there. Um, and now if you really wanted to do this, um, you could change this all to one color here. And as you can see, it still shows up there. And then you could copy all of this, just highlight everything and control C to copy. And you could paste this into Photoshop um, if you're using Photoshop and want to further manipulate these graphics. But anyway, really quick tutorial but um, super easy. It's one of those things that seems kind of complicated when you see it, um, but once you learn how to do it, super quick and super easy. So anyway, thanks guys for tuning in. Talk to y'all later.